Hi, everyone. Welcome to Power to Express. I'm Lindsay, and this is Katie and Tia. Perfect. You guys ready to get started? Yep. Okay. It is a very flowy <laughs> Power to Express today. So if you ever need a pause, do pause. Um, but I thought we would just kind of come into that water element today and shrug off some of the stagnancy. Downward facing dog. Downward facing dog is a big posture. As you come into it, perhaps you give yourself just a little bit of softness through your knees. A firm rooted base. Start to feel the earth below you. And for those of you not practicing outside, know that there is earth below this mat, below this building. And it connects you to every other being here. A lot of times we can feel isolated or alone, disconnected, not seen. But today we will focus on the almighty sun salutation because sun salutations are something that people in all pockets of the globe perform as a ritual, as a cleansing, as a symbol of gratitude. And not only do they do it now and around the world, but they've done it thousands of years in some form or another before we've been here. And hopefully we'll continue to do it long after we're gone. So before we even get started, I'd just like you to identify your deepest intention for practicing yoga. Make that your intention, make that your fuel. Breathing it in and exhaling it all the way back out. Breathing in through wide nostrils, sealing off our mouth if it's possible, exhaling through those same wide nostrils. Breathe in table pose, gaze as long toward the top of your mat. Exhale cat pose, a wild bend of the spine. Breathe in cow pose, stretch through your neck, belly, hips. And exhale, cat. Find a little bit of mindless movement, okay? Yes, we want it to be mindful and slow, but also just let that body take over here. You can go from side to side. You could find it maybe through your neck. That's a part of your spine, too. I've always got some cracks and pops <laughs> to let out. That water quality really asks us to let go, to let go of control, maybe to stop expecting or adhering things or two things of our practice and to just let it blossom, let it flow. Exhale, take all of the weight into your left hand. Kickstand your left foot out to the left side. Inhale, modified side plank, reach up. As you exhale, let's rainbow. All the way down, back foot down, top arm over. Do that a couple of times. Inhale, modified side plank. And exhale, drop your top foot down, reach up overhead. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in, table pose. Exhale, kickstand your other foot out. Breathe in, modified side plank. And exhale, I like to call it rainbow. Drop your top foot, reach overhead. Breathe in, come on up, maybe even to tip fingers. Exhale, reach, pull in rainbow. Breathe in, rise. And exhale, just rainbow all the way back. Breathe in, table pose. And exhale, tuck your toes. One at a time, step them back. Inhale, plank. Continue your breath here. I'd like you to feel almost as if you could draw that energy from everyone else you're connected to all over the globe through the earth. It's pretty cool. People of all ages do this practice. I had a client online who was 83 yesterday and she just hung out and plank while I talked to her. <laughs> I didn't even make her. I was like, you can come down to your knees if you want to. No, she was really happy in plank. Let it turn off the breath. This is gentle heat in here right now. And so we really want that internal agni, fire. Breathe in. 
Breath out, lower all the way down to your belly. We flow. Breathe in, bind your hands behind your back, bound locust. Inhale. Exhale, melt, return your hands to the ground, tuck your toes. Breathe in, plank table or hips to heels. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, plank pose. Exhale, lower softly. Great control. Breathe in, bound locust. And exhale, release. Breathe in, push up, and exhale, press back. You've got two more times on your own, inhaling to plank and taking over. And I want you to find a back bend that feels awesome in your body. It could be super person with your arms out to the side. Might be some sort of cobra or up dog. Don't overthink it. Just start to ride that wave of breath. You'll notice on this last round that you can milk that exhale until you cannot exhale anymore. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Just a brief hold here. Perhaps even holding on to the nape of your neck or your skull, your occipital ridge. Pulling it down slightly, noticing all this pressure. And play maybe with the weight, balls of feet, backs of feet. On your exhale, let's take a box stretch with our arms, each hand to the opposite bicep. Inhale, sunflowers to your right. Sweep up and over. No rush. As you exhale, you reach out of your hips to the left and come down. Let's do one more on this side at your own pace. These make me lightheaded, so go really nice and slow. And then just to switch directions and feel everything work as one. What's nice about even these videos is you guys know that we make it with you in mind, right? So if you're isolated, if you're alone, if you're disconnected at home, you can hear us breathing. We're not making these videos for ourselves, right? We're making these for you. And as a community, still upholding each other, take a breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, fold. Breathe in, mountain pose. Little pause here, not very long. I'd like you to close your eyes and just stand in your power. Equal weight from right to left side. Back to front. Top to bottom, breathe in. Exhale, side bend to the right. Pause. I even like to push into my right hip just a little bit. That way I've got somewhere to stretch from. Breathe out. Breathe in center. Exhale, lateral bend, second side. And then just pause to feel this radiating texture, sensation, aliveness through the connective tissues and breathe that warm ujjayi breath behind it. This is a hard posture, I think at least. <laughs> breathe out. Breathe in mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. We'll breathe at the bottom of our chaturanga. So if you'd like to lower to your knees, you can. We will not come into up dog yet. Yes. And if you look at yourself, if you look at anybody in this room, there will be a shake. This is good. We want that shake there. Exhale. Breathe in, upward facing dog. And now pause in upward facing dog. Sometimes we just blow by it. But notice all the qualities, maybe even a water quality from side to side, bending each elbow once and just kind of shimmying through your shoulders there to loosen up. Breathe in. Breath out, downward facing dog. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale forward, fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale forward, fold. Breathe in, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend to the right. A little bit further this time. Breathe in up. 
And exhale, second side. Breath in, Tadasana Mountain. Exhale forward, a fold, like a gentle bow. Breath in, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Now, Katie's never been to a class here because she just moved here. So I'll let her know that I always skip Chaturanga. I just do high plank to up dog. And if you want to cheat, you can too. Okay? Do what's in your practice. Inhale, look forward. And exhale two more times on your own. And instead of maybe thinking that might be <laughs> boring or monotonous, I want you to come into this rich tradition. People do sun salutations historically because they're actually grateful. Like, oh my gosh, the sun came up for me this morning again. They're celebrating this breath, this one that's not guaranteed, but actually came. They're doing it to take care of themselves, to clear their minds so they can be a better part of a community, more valuable, not only to themselves, but to others. I'm going to give you some creative liberties, like I always do. If you want to change something, if you want to edit something out, go ahead. But add that joy element, that fire element to your practice. Each posture just gets one focal point. And notice, too, as you flow, the ability to not just focus on the poses, but this beautiful link of movement right in between each. Breathe in, right leg high, bend, twist, and open your top knee. Exhale, knee to shoulder. <sighs> Breathe in, three-legged dog, bend, twist, and open this time. Exhale, knee to opposite shoulder. <sighs> Breathe in, three-legged dog, straight. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, straighten your legs, look back in space. Yep, exhale, lunge really far in, back knee to a hover or a kiss. Two more times, inhale, straighten and stretch. And exhale, lunge forward and down. One more time, back. And exhale, forward. Breathe in, Sultan Warrior, please. And breathe here. So we'll just have our left arm up. Right hand on back of opposite thigh. Nice little back bend here. Do either of you have any back pain sometimes when you come into this? Or are you good? Once in a while, I'll feel like a small pinching somewhere in my lower lumbar. And I just don't go as deep, right? If you feel some signaling, maybe you respond in real time. Perfect. From here, a little bit different flow. Breathe in. Exhale, matrix arms into extended side ankle, and we'll pause there. Okay, so you're welcome to just cut through the air like you're some sort of star of the matrix. <laughs> Make it as fancy as you want. There's all these nice layers in between zero to 100% in this posture. So notice some of those more subtle cues at first. We don't always have to go full bore right away. Take an exhale. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Pause. Continue your breath. If you'd like a tricep stretch here, it's always nice to open up the outer line. And perhaps the real focal point is inside the body, right underneath these ribs as they gently pull apart on the inhale and settle back down and in on the exhale. Breathe in, breath out, triangle pose. You could move your feet and group them a little closer together on this first pass as we flow. Perhaps we won't just for sake of the flow. Finding the difference between this and extended side angle, it's so slight, and yet there's different sensations here. Can you feel that? 
Breathe out. Breathe in, star pose. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your mat, please. Breathe here. This is a big one. <laughs> Tia asked for some hip openers today. They literally came in and I was like, well, what would serve you today? And so you'll notice that there's three major joints. You've got your hip, you've got your knee, you've got your ankle. If any of these don't feel very good, you can always come to horse here or just lessen the severity of your dip down. Breathe out. Inhale, halfway lift through the center of your mat to low lunge. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Breathe in, open chest. Exhale, tuck back into downward facing dog. Breathe in, left leg up and back, bend, twist, and open. Exhale, knee to left shoulder. Breathe in, up and back, bend, twist, and open. Exhale, opposite shoulder. Breathe in, three-legged with a straight leg. Exhale, low lunge. Let's stretch. Inhale, straighten your legs, look back. Exhale, lunge really far forward and down. Twice more. Inhales, pull your tailbone back. Exhales, draw your sternum forward. Last time, in-breath. And out breath. Breathe in, Sultan Warrior. And pause. This is kind of a tricky one because it's always opposite arm up of whichever leg's in front. So if somehow things go a little cattywampus at home, don't worry about it. Stay in that water quality instead of stopping and fixing. Just do what feels right to you. Notice how you need to stabilize through your right hamstring muscles. As they puff up toward your ceiling or the sky, you feel just a little bit more supported. Breathe in. Exhale, extended side angle. Breathe. I, unlike some teachers, like a little bit of weight in my bottom arm here. I feel like that pressure can actually lift and rotate, give me a little bit more of that axial rotation. So find, find what you need here. What aids you? And you should get to the point in this posture where you're just a little bit annoyed with me. <laughs> just a little bit, not too much, yeah. Exhale. Breathe in, reverse warrior. We'll pause here as well. If you took a tricep stretch, you'll find it here. And that's the great thing about this community is that whether we're in studio or we're online, we're accountable to each other, right? We'll hold this for as long as you hold it at home. Doesn't matter that we've done it maybe before you watched this. We're still doing it for you, you for them. So stay there. Take a breath in. Breath out now. Triangle pose. Breathe. It's the number one thing that I hear from people at home. They say, ah, oh, I enjoy the home practice, but I just I can't keep accountable. If you feel like that's you, start leaving a comment in the comment section every time you do the video. You'll start to see other people. I know that was more when we were live, but that can still be now. Okay? I see those comments. I see that you guys are there. Deepen through your front hip crease just a little bit more. Yeah, good, Tia. Breathe out. Breathe in, star. Really big. Glutes turn on. Exhale, skandasana. Breathe. So this is our last hold before we flow. And it's meant to be well-rounded. That's what I've concocted for you guys today. Just a very well-rounded practice. So if you'd like to take creative liberties, if you would like to color outside of the lines or maybe put your own spice into the pot. I welcome that, okay? I know Katie's a yoga teacher, right? Tia is almost through her teacher training. So maybe they feel like they know where, where to go. Heck, even if you're new to yoga, you might feel like your body wants to spring up into some posture I haven't said. Totally cool. Breathe out. Breathe in, crawl forward toward low lunge. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Breathe in, Urdhva Mukha upward facing. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do this. Breathe in, right leg high. We'll take the stretches out. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, Sultan Warrior, left arm high. Exhale, extended side angle. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Exhale, triangle pose. Breathe in, star. You can unlock your front knee before you come up. Exhale, skandasana toward the back of your mat. Breathe in, walk forward, low lunge. Exhale, chaturanga, perhaps ekapada with a foot lifted like Katie. If you want more heat, inhale and let go. I'll guide you through your left leg and then you're off on your own. Inhale, raise. Exhale, pull it on through. Breathe in, sultan warrior. Exhale, side angle. Breathe in, reverse. Exhale, triangle pose. Breathe in, star. And exhale, skandasana, back of mat. Breathe in, front of mat. Exhale, chaturanga. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in, right leg up. Exhale, just take over here. You've got it. If you don't like something, toss it away. The beauty of the breath is that it threads the mind and the body together. When you think about this movement, the mind can be no other place. You start to marry just a little bit more sweetness of the practice in with the strength. I've heard from a lot of people lately that they felt anxious, uncertain, guarded, right? We're entering a new wave of the season with illness and things and So just to always find this freedom, this kind of moksha or liberation that they talk about in yoga and that water quality, to find that ease is so important. And I know I feel it in my own life and I need it to balance myself out one more time each side. Noticing how maybe you can expand into new layers of the posture every time you get there. A new or more refined arm variation. Maybe just the ability to more fully ride the breath instead of dictate the breath. I think you guys are synchronized swimmers. <laughs> Everything's like perfectly together. I love when that happens. There's a little bit of magic when that happens. Awesome downward facing dog. Hmm. And again, just to bring the attention back to the parts of the hands and feet that are grounded through the earth. There are times when we go through things and we feel like we, no one else will understand. And there's a chapter in the book, Stillness is the Key, that I read yesterday. And it was just a good reminder that any feeling that you've had, any struggle you've been through, There's someone who has felt that way. Whether it's right now in the seven and a half billion people on the earth, perhaps someone in the past. There is no separation. 
We all look at the same moon, your ancestors, your descendants. Well, Leonardo da Vinci, <laughs> Buddha, Jesus, it's all the same moon. Isn't that crazy? How can we feel alone when there is so much right here pointing to the fact that we're so together? We just need to remember it, right? That's the process of yoga, remembering. Breathe out. Breathe in dolphin pose. Nobody's favorite. I don't know. Is it anybody's favorite here? Just to bend down to your forearms. Yeah. You'll notice they naturally both took a clasp. So that's awesome. And then we'll just take one leg up in the air. Just one leg. Nice and straight and strong. This is a lot of work, you guys. But, you know, I've decided that if you're at home, you need a little bit of that heat. Breathe in. Breath out. Lower your leg. Breathe in. Other side up. Continue your breath. Woo. You can point or flex. I don't really care. As long as you've got some intentional energy lines out of your top foot. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release. Breathe in. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, heels lift. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, bend your left knee into your chest. I'd like you to take four whole breaths to rise up to single leg mountain. Literally, the slower you go, the harder it is. So single leg mountain at your own pace here. Keep your knee into your chest. Do you guys feel that? That's a new butt. <laughs> and let's have a little bit of an adventure. Let's not be perfect here today. Awesome, very nice. And now simply to kick forward with your single leg. Oh, I know, I'm sorry you guys, I am. If it makes you feel better, I taped one by myself and I did it through it the other day too. <laughs> Breathe in. Exhale, full airplane pose. Continue to breathe. I like a bind behind my back here just because it opens up my chest. And if I tuck my chin in a little bit, it gets into those coat hanger muscles, the upper traps. And a bunch of other stuff, right? It's all interconnected. Nothing is separate. Just like we're talking about with community and earth, the things in our body are not separate either. Exhale. Breathe in, standing split. Yeah. Now, if I just wanted to like see how badass I was at balance, I could take my hands up off the ground, airplane wings again. Or if I wanted more of a stretch, I might hug my shin and my calf closer to my face and really feel those fibers. Breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, Sultan warrior, left arm high. As we exhale, we'll just take an open arm twist to our right. And we'll breathe here. You could even bind halfway with the top arm. Set it on your sacrum. No rights or wrongs here. But I would like you to feel like a healthy, moderate twist and the undulation of the belly with your breath. Nothing stops here on that train. Great bind, Katie. I love it. Let's breathe in together and breath out runners lunge. Lizard pose, so cool because we can do so many things with it. And for those of you who feel cheated of any quad stretches, one that I've liked recently is if I'm in runner's lunge, I take my right hand to my right, uh, what's that called, <laughs> a thigh. <laughs> I slide forward, I kind of twist to the right, and I simply bend my left knee. I can feel everything here. It's different if I bind, I feel a little bit different sensation, but you don't actually have to bind in order to get some of that benefit there, okay? So if you ever feel as though you're cheated of the quad stretches because it, it hurts your knees or, or maybe your hand is never, never onto your foot, 
there are some options here. Breathe in, breath out, runner's lunge. Breathe in, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend, twist, open. If you'd like to flip your dog, this would be a really nice time to do it. But let's stay for a beat, broaden through our chest and move our top arm, almost like you're making a swimmer stroke backward or forward. Wrinkle through your fingers, open up the pads of your hands. Inhale, and exhale downward, facing and dog. Breathe in, heels lift, please. Exhale forward, fold. We got a whole nother side. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your other knee into your chest. And then take four-ish breaths. So hold that into your chest and rise up like a phoenix. Awesome. And now to kick your legs straight. This is my least favorite posture. I think if I had to categorize, mm -hmm, this is not a, this is no bueno. But it teaches us something. It still does something for us. Tilt your, your heart forward just a little bit so you're not backing away from that. Breathe in, elevate. Exhale, full airplane option for the bind here because we will stay for just a little while and as you bind perhaps to tuck that chin once more being kind to ourselves being unattached to outcome right if we fall it's okay we come back into it we're all human you see my videos I fall all the time <laughs> Breathe out and breathe in, standing split. Let's pause and breathe here. Really, I think this is more about the standing leg. I want to get that, that stretch, but I want to get that twitch too. I want to know that it's working to keep me upright. Reinforcing with your left butt cheek, with your right butt cheek. Breathe in. Breath out, low lunge. Breathe in, Sultan Warrior, right arm high. Exhale, deep open arm twist to your left now. Continue to breathe. Every time we bind one, one thing to another in yoga, whether it's your forearm to your outer thigh or your hands together, it's, it's really just using that energy and that togetherness to further, like, juice out the posture of benefit. So that coming together aids in the deepening of our practice. You're here for two more breaths. I know that's a little bit of a long time, but you got this. Breathe in. And breath out, runners, a lunge. Awesome. Settle in. Take whatever variation calls to you. Perhaps something a little bit similar to what you did on the other side. Ryan Holiday in Stillness is the Key says, the realization that we are one creates such peace and stillness. With it, we lose the selfishness and the self-absorption at the root of much of a disturbance in our lives. The Greek spoke of sympathia, a kind of mutual dependence and interrelatedness that all things past, present, and future have together. They believe that each person on this planet has an important role to play and should be respected for it. We are all brilliant whole beings within ourselves. But we're also just this microcosm, part of a, a bigger macrocosm or picture.
Let's take an inhale. Exhale, come up onto your fingertips. Grip them wildly into your mat. Breathe in, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend, twist, open. Flip your dog. And even if you don't flip your dog, you just feel that whole outer, outer situation there up and down the body. Oh, it feels so good. And a little bit of movement here, right? We spent some time here. Great. Breathe in and breathe out downward facing dog. Uh, you can drop to your knees. Now, does either one of you have a um, forearm stand in their practice in a, in a way that? Some days. Some days? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Would you like to demonstrate on the mirror while I talk? Sounds good. So T is going to demonstrate for us while I talk here. And we'll just move. Um, you might need something if your arms are sweaty. Yeah, you might need your mat. So we'll just come on over here. And what I would like to see from you guys during playtime today in forearm stand is perhaps a wall behind you just because if you do tip over, it's going to be a really, really deep bend through your back. And I'd like something there for safety, something not breakable. <laughs> so Tia will bring herself into dolphin pose to begin with. And she can either have her her forearms in the number 11 there, or she could go ahead and clasp like she did before. But if you clasp, I would like a fist and then to wrap around the fist so that you've got a flat surface on the underside. Now, just to look in between the elbows or a little bit further forward and to come into uh, your standing split situation here. Good. Straight top leg. And then perhaps you'll kick all the way up so that your hips are over your shoulders. Awesome. Elbows squeeze inward, pushing the earth away and finding a slight cat back instead of a cow back to counteract that bend. Nice, Tia. Thank you so much. Very nice. So we'll give you just a couple of moments here to play if you want to pause the video. Okay, so going ahead and, and playing. And I'll give, I don't know, Katie probably wants to play around. This is her practice too. So she can do that too. Perfect. And take your time on this setup. I really like to think about like a suction sound. <laughs> what That was more like a whip, wasn't it? Suction, like in with the elbows. Okay, because I see a lot of people with flaccid elbows disengaged hug in and let some of these accessory muscles uh, um, do some of this work with you. Great. Okay. Let's take all of this heat and delve deeper into the body. Each of you want to call out a hip opener that you're excited about? Perfect. Tia, what do you want? Oh, I've got a good one. Okay, so let's come into half pigeon on our right side. You can come in from plank is a nice way to come in just because you do have to drive up that knee before you drive it down and forward, okay? But instead, if that's a little bit incongruent with how you're feeling, 90-90 pose is a great option. And it would just be shin parallel to top edge of mat, 90 degrees in ankle, knee and hip, and then same thing back here, ankle out. And then just a buoy from side to side to find exactly what kind of sensation you want. The more I go toward this bent leg, the more sensation I get, and maybe from front to back as well. And then just go ahead and close down the lids for a few breaths, try to turn off the legs and let gravity or perhaps your body, just compress these tissues for a few breaths. Perhaps feeling the entire body as one big sensation, the subtle, the pronounced, the good, the places that maybe need a little bit of healing. bringing your mind's eye even into the pockets, you rarely recognize the webbing in between your fingers. The 
eyes and the inner knee. Perhaps that soft spot right above your top lip where the air comes out. And slowly to transition forward and crawl out of whatever position you're in. Come back in through plank. And then just set up for the other side. For those of you coming into 90-90, a scoot of your butt cheek over to the side of the mat can make sure that your knee also has a little bit of sponginess underneath here. One side is not like the other. I know that right away. And so as you buoy forward, back, side to side, and you find that spot that's just right, you'll just exhale to ground yourself. Let everything turn off, being both heavy and light at the same time. Not only are we physically on the ground, but this is such a grounding practice to just plug into what's here and now, to gather your head from all the other spaces it's been in and bring it back in line with mind, body, spirit, emotion, have it all be in one place at one time. And just give it three more breaths. And you'll know when you're finished. And we'll meet on our backs. I'll dim the lights for you all. We've got a pose and a counter pose. And you've got choices in both. Bridge or wheel is the first. And plow or happy baby is the last. So go ahead and find your setup, whether it's for bridge or for wheel. Exhale to ground down through all 10 toes and breathe in just to lift up and to pause to open. Beautiful long windpipe of air still flowing to and fro, right? You've always got that water quality even in those more static postures. Breathe in. Exhale, wrinkle all the way back down. And then just counter with happy baby or maybe a nice big plow <laughs> through your spine here. We've got one of each, so that's nice if you need any visuals here. When you feel counteracted, you'll simply fall down into your Shavasana space. And I'll leave you with this thought from Ryan Holiday. When you step back from the enormity of your own immediate experience, you are able to see the experience of others and either connect with it 
or lessen the intensity of your own pain. We are all strands in a long rope that stretches back countless generations and ties together every person in every country. Breathe in. And exhale, Shavasana. You are more than welcome to stay in Shavasana for a while longer. You've earned it. But if you are ready, welcome yourself back with a smile, a swallow, a nice gentle stretch, perhaps reaching for all the good things in your practice and bringing them down into your heart center. And taking a moment just to pause and be so grateful that this practice has been handed down, that we have each other, whether we're in person or not, and for this community. Namaste. Thank you both so much for your practices. Thank you at home uh, for sticking with your practice. It's so important during this time. So keep taking care of yourselves, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>